Hi, my name is Sharif Christmas. I'm the Sales and Solutions Manager at ADB Tracking Solutions. And I'm gonna take you through a quick video to discuss two points. One, FAR 52 245-1 and how UC Web helps our customers comply. Also, we're gonna do an inventory and we'll do it in two flavors. One, we'll do an RFID inventory and two, we'll do a uh, inventory using 1D barcode. So just sit back, uh, enjoy the video, and let us know if you have any questions uh, in comments below. Welcome to this UC Web session where we're gonna take you through how UC Web complies and helps our customers comply to FAR 52-245-1. Here's the uh, sign-on uh, screen when you get, it's the sign-on screen within UC Web. A little bit of the statistics around assets in terms of you know the total asset count uh, which is in the system as well as assets without locations assets not inventoried assets without parts assets checked out so these are all important features because you want to know how many assets don't have locations because locations allow you to do those inventories as well as uh, when's the last time you've done uh, inventory on some assets and in this this is my little play pen, so you're gonna see a large number there, and then part numbers and, and then checked out. So the check-in, check-out gives you the ability to check assets out to a custodian and then track that until it's checked back into you. But we're gonna go into how UC Web handles or allows our customers to comply with FAR 52-245-1. So first thing we're gonna do is go into this asset tab. And here I have a location in which I'm going to be doing most of my operations in. I've got some assets in here and I'm gonna show you exactly how everything works in terms of, you know, I've got my uh, item ID, name of the asset, the location, custodian who uh, is responsible for it, the last inventory date, and we'll do an inventory as well, and kind of show you how that works. Um, if there was an internal part number, we'd have that. This was a non-serialized item and we were tracking uh, bulk quantities. We'd have some numbers here like we do with this ThinkPad and then projects. So what does this, pro what does this actually uh, belong to? You know, uh, let's say we're going through an audit, a DCMA audit. We wanna make sure that we you know, put that as a project because these are the assets, let's say that are gonna be on an uh, upcoming audit and we wanna make sure that they're um, complete. Um, so here we'll go into this particular uh, area and we'll talk about exactly, you know, the asset detail information because within FAR 52245-1, there are certain data elements that you need to have uh, visible and things that you need to track. So you definitely need to understand the value and the unit of measure. So you can see that here, uh, you got the value and the unit of measure the day it was received. So that could be the hosting reference uh, date of the transaction when you brought it into your um, enterprise. Get some other information here like property class, property type, ownership code. Uh, those are different things in which you can track uh, as a customer just to make sure you got your assets in line. We'll go into this particular area. So property class could be test uh, or tooling equipment, special tooling material, um, property type could be CAP, could be GFP, fixed assets, things of that nature, and then ownership code. So it could be the government, yours, uh, subcontractor, you know, you can uh, put all that information right there in the system. Now these drop down uh, features in this area are not customizable. That's probably what you're gonna see, you know, when you go into UC Web. So let's go into another uh, portion of the uh, of the application. So that's really the first, you know, the main detail area where we're going after and making sure we're tracking our our information. And the tracking area here, uh, the big the biggest thing you'll see here is location. So that's also part of that um, that that those ten data elements. You know, your inventory date uh, is definitely key because that's you know the BCMA wants to know when you're tracking things and making sure that you're actually doing inventories. You know, the, uh, the assignee, the check-in, check-out just gives you the ability to have control of custody. 
So that's a good point. We have no warranties, but um, you know, it is not a requirement, but you know, some people track that. But let's talk about, we've designated this as a DCMA audit. You know, quantity is definitely something. How many did you receive? As well as the date you placed into service. Um, and this one, you see a date of 1031, as well as an accountable uh, contract number. And we have our contract number here, which is associated. Calibration, not really a part of it, but something to track. But now you also have your part number, which is definitely part of the, uh, the, uh, the 10 data elements. And then the last one is your UII right here. So you've got, and you can call that also your UID. Disposition though, um, we handle disposition with PCARS. So that's not within the tab, but PCARS is over here. So you can, uh, you have the ability to now report within UC Web, you know, any type of quantities that you have left over from a project. And, you know, that just gives you the ability to be real crisp on this. History is another thing I'll, I'll quickly go through as well. So you got a history tab that has all this information, very um, pertinent in terms of the activity, who did the activity, when the activity was done, and then details. And you can also attach photos to this particular um, asset and also uh, documents uh, if you need to as well, like a, a manual. One key differentiator I'll tell you is registration. So I've already done all the items I need to do for this particular uh, asset, but the difference between UC, UC Web and the other platforms out there, all within the system, after I make sure I've got all the things um, satisfied, like part number, serial number, construct one or construct two, um, all of the, uh, the IUID requirements, you know, associated to a contract value, um, just to just to name a few, and then fixing a actual um, mark on that asset. Once I do all of those items, I can simply go over here and click register. And that is where we, where our integration into uh, the Pi system, whether you know it's the IUID registry, you're sending stuff over to the WAF. We simply click register. As you can see, my um, my asset here has been this particular drone has been queued up, and uh, I can have it reviewed later before it finally does goes through the final submission. But essentially, it's queued up to be registered and sent up to the um, to the Pi system, whether it's the IUID registry uh, or uh, or the WAF. So that's UC Web in terms of you know how we help our customers stay compliant. I'll do a quick inventory and let you see exactly how that works. We're back in the warehouse and we're going to show you how UC Web with our tracker app simply allows you to do inventories, whether it's 1D or 2D barcode. We've got an Android phone coupled with an RFD 8500 with Bluetooth and it's going to allow us to just do some quick inventories. So I'm going to start the first inventory here and it's going to be barcode only. So I select barcode. It's in barcode mode. You heard it chirp. And we're going to start uh, scanning away. Now, you can see there's tags on some of these assets. The tags are both RFID enabled as well as barcode. So let's get to scanning. So I got one. Scan the next one. Scan the one in the back. And I believe I got one over here. So I've just scanned four items. I did 100% inventory. This area is done. I'm going to switch modes now to RFID. And now we're going to do a scan with RFID. So as I point, you can start seeing that the assets are being tracked and collected. I just got the four items. I picked up some other uh, RFID tags in the area, um, but if they get a green check, that means <clears throat> they're part of the inventory and the inventory is complete. So I've got four items. And that is how simple, just by switching modes, you can track your assets with RFID and 1D barcode as well in a warehouse environment. Okay, we're back. So we just completed all our scans in the warehouse. Now we're back to the desktop. So we had four items that we were looking at when we did the RFID in the barcode inventory. We picked up one item in there with this uh, Dell laptop. 
So this Dell laptop got picked up in the scan and was in the area. So it's now part of this particular location. It automatically updated. I wanted to make sure you guys got that clarification. Now let's go back into the asset detail for this particular asset, the, uh, the tablet. And let's look at the history. And the history will show that we inventoried this item 39 at 446. Um, we also inventoried at 446 because first inventory with barcode. So it picked up the barcode and then it also picked up the RFID. So as you can see, being able to go out and scan your assets and manage them from an inventory perspective is so easy with UC Web. We give you the option to do it in RFID or with barcode. And then all that history is all collected here in the system. And it actually allows your assets now to be in the digital world.